In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a dual PC streaming setup using OBS and NDI plugins. Not only that, I'll be showing you how I connected both my PCs to my router and what settings I'm running on my OBS to get a perfect 1440 60fps stream. First step is going to be hooking up both the PCs to your router with the Ethernet cable. Before we jump into how to install NDI and OBS settings, I'm just going to mention that I have connected my webcam and my mic to my streaming PC just to take any additional load off of my gaming PC. All right, so now I'm going to talk about the setup part. So go ahead and install OBS in your gaming and streaming PC. And after you have done installing the latest version of OBS, go on Google and write NDI OBS. So you're going to see this, the first link, uh, NDI OBS, new tech NDI integration into OBS Studio. Click on that. After you click on it, you'll see this page right here. After you see this page, you're going to click on go to download. So after you click on go to download, you'll be directed to this page. And if you see carefully, there are two things that you need to download on this page. The first one is going to be the NDI runtime. So the NDI 5.5.3 runtime. And the second thing that you're going to have to download is the actual NDI plugin, which works with that runtime. And the one for Windows is right here, the zip file. These are the two things that you need to download on your gaming and streaming PC. And now I'll show you how to install it. After you download the NDI runtime and the plugin, it should look something like this. I've already extracted the plugin. Before you install the plugin and the runtime, make sure the OBS is not running. Go ahead and install the NDI plugin first. It is very straightforward. You just click on next a bunch of times and it installs by itself. After installing the runtime, we can go ahead and copy the plugin files into the OBS directory. So these files are going to go into where your OBS is installed. So let me show you where that would be. So it all depends where you have installed OBS, but in my computer, it's in C drive, program files, OBS studio. The first thing that we're going to copy is data. So go in data, go in OBS plugins and copy this folder and then go Go in data, go in OBS plugins in the OBS install directory and paste here. And you can tell I've already pasted it right here, OBS NDI. Go back to the main directory, go back to the main directory in your downloaded plugin. Now go in OBS plugins. We're going to go in OBS plugins in the install directory, 64 bit, 64 bit. And you're also going to copy these files over here. And you have to do this step on your gaming PC and your streaming PC. The steps until now are the same on both your systems. But from now on, once we set up OBS, the steps will be different for both the PCs. So follow closely. When you open your OBS for the first time after installing NDI plugin, you will see that once you go in your tools drop down menu, you will see NDI output settings. This is where you enable your NDI output to go on your network and to be detected by your other system on your same network as well. And to enable the output, all you have to do is check the box where it says main output. You can rename this to anything that you like. Make sure the second box is unchecked. These two boxes can stay checked. It does not matter. And after that, you can hit OK. Just so you know, your encoder settings or any other bitrate settings from your gaming PC does not matter anymore. Because all we're doing is we're sending your video signal away to the second PC via your home network. And your second streaming PC is going to be doing all the work. Only setting that you can change on your gaming PC is the resolution you're going to be sending out to your streaming PC. You can see that right now we cannot edit any video settings because we have NDI enabled. So to edit your video resolution settings, you would have to turn your NDI off. To get the best possible stream, what you want to do is you want to stream at your desktop resolution and you want your output resolution to match that. So you don't want any downscale to happen. I'm running a 1440p monitor 
and I am not downscaling it. I am sending that 1440p with 60 FPS straight to my streaming PC via NDI. So once you have set your resolution and enable NDI, go over to the streaming PC and set up OBS in there. So now we're in the streaming PC and I'll show you what settings we need to do here. We're not going to touch the NDA output settings in the drop down menu at all. We're going to leave that alone, but instead, but down here at sources, you're going to hit add source and you'll see this new option NDI source. Click on that. And over here at the name, you can enter any name that you like. It doesn't have to be the same name as the gaming PC. So after you enter the name, hit OK. And in source name, if you have done everything correctly so far, once you hit the drop down menu, you will see your gaming PC come up here. I am seeing my gaming PC come up, so I am just going to click on it. And if you don't see your gaming PC come up here, that means your firewall or antivirus is blocking it. You can try disabling your antivirus or firewall and maybe it'll start working then. Uh, I didn't have to do any of those settings, so hopefully you don't have to do that either. And for bandwidth, leave that on highest. And for sync, change that to network leave these two options unchecked and for the last option here you're going to click on low for latency after you hit ok you will see that your gaming pc will start to appear in your obs on your streaming pc i'm able to see the stream coming from my gaming pc through ndi over my network let me go back over to the streaming PC and show you what streaming settings I'm running. So again, in the video tab, you want the base canvas and the output to match the resolution coming from your gaming PC. So for me, that was 1440p at 60 FPS, and that's what I've selected here. And in terms of streaming settings, I am streaming at 51,000 kilobytes per second which is the highest youtube takes and i'm using the setting because i know my internet is able to handle it and for audio i'm using 160 for the video encoder i'm not using the cpu on my second streaming pc i am instead using the gpu which is the msi rx 580 it does a great job at encoding 2k video at 60 fps and for the encoder preset, I left that on quality. I find that this setting over here gives me a really smooth 1440p 60fps stream on YouTube. And if you're wondering what setting I'm using for recording, it is MP4 because MP4 is easy to edit and to upload on YouTube. And for the file size, I'm using large file size. And again, I'm using the graphics card encoder here, which is the AMD HEVC. That's all you have to do in order to get a two PC stream running without a capture card, just by using your house internet. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you want me to make content like this in future, please hit the subscribe button and like this video. And thanks for watching.